Hi, my name's Cara and I'm a first year student midwife. I've been doing a series of videos on midwifery interviews and my last two were on what to wear for your midwifery interviews and top 10 things not to say at your midwifery interviews. So if you haven't already seen them, please check them out on the Gap Medics channel. Today though, I'm going to be talking to you about my experience of midwifery interviews and how I felt they went last year. So, going to my midwifery interviews was probably one of the most nerve-wracking experiences of my life to date because it meant so much to me and I'm sure any of you who are in the same boat will probably feel the same way. You don't really know what to expect and you'll find every single interview you go to will be completely different and that's something I found was definitely true and I never felt 100% confident because there was always something different about each one and you never really know what to expect. One thing I found at interviews was sometimes there'd be a bit of an atmosphere where you felt like really shy and you could tell lots of other girls felt really shy but the best way I found to deal with that was to just try and talk to everybody and try and start a bit of a conversation going. Usually you'll find the best time to do this is before your interviews even start uh, because everybody will, will be sat there feeling nervous so I would just say oh like hey how are you? Who?" like where are you from and like how have you found the journey here things like that just making small talk can really ease the nerves in the room and also you can sometimes find that at certain interviews you might find the odd person who might feel like it's a bit of a competition and doesn't want to kind of talk to the enemy so to speak try and talk to those people and if you're one of those who feels like it's a competition Try not to. I know it's so easy to because places at um, midwifery schools are so limited. It can feel like you're in competition with each other, but you're not. At the end of the day, the best way to get through midwifery interviews is to just be there and help each other. And honestly, if you're not one of those kinds of people that wants to help other people, the midwifery interviewers will pick up on that. So try and make an effort with everybody. Try and be as smiley as possible. I know it's really difficult, but I just found that by talking to other people who were at their interviews, it really made the whole experience a lot more bearable and nicer for everybody. And you could even find yourself having a laugh because it just eases the tensions really and you'll make some really lovely friends. So even girls that I'm not going to university with now, I've actually still stayed in contact with because I got on with them so well and I just feel like they made that experience for me a little bit more bearable and I hope I did the same for them. Another thing I'd say about my midwifery interviews last year was that at first, when I went to my first couple of midwifery interviews, I'd find that there'd be a totally random question that I had absolutely no idea how to answer because I hadn't even thought about it as a question. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but one of the best things I would say about if you're in a situation like that would be not to just blurt out the first thing that comes to your head. I have a tendency to do that, and it's not the best way to do it. Midwifery interviewers know that you're in a really stressful situation and may not have the answer to the question straight away. So one of the best things I would advise would be to just take a second, process the question, and then start your answer. Um, it can feel really difficult in things like multiple mini, mini interviews where you've only got, say, a certain amount of time to answer a question, but try not to worry. It's far better to take your time and have a good think about what you want to say rather than just blurting out any old rubbish and not actually answering the question. I did that. Not the best way to do it. Another thing I would say is that when I went to my interviews, a lot of um, universities would want to know if you had any questions and to be honest with you I think that's a really useful time for you to kind of if you have any questions about the university or the course or anything like that it's a really great opportunity to ask um, and also interviewers really like it when you are inquisitive and want to know more about a university that you're attending an interview for so really make use of that time and also interviewers want to know that you are taking a really good interest in the university and wanted to know more about the course because for me the way the course was structured was quite important to me and what I mean by that is that I really wanted to go to a university where they had block placement so that meant you had like say six weeks in university and then six weeks on placement for me I would have really struggled studying if um, I had to say spend two days in university, then three days on placement, then however many days, and then it's all moving around and an odd day here, an odd day there. I liked to have a bit of a split of 
where, what I was doing so I could easily think about one thing at a time and that was something I was really important to me and something I asked about at interview. I also found it really scary at times and there were times when I walked out of a room and thought I've absolutely mucked up that interview and I'm not going to get a place. But usually you'll find that interviewers know how much pressure that we're under and they also know that you're never going to answer 100% correctly and that you, there's going to be mistakes in what you say or you are going to mumble or halfway through a sentence change what you're saying. Um, but try not to worry too much afterwards. They are very forgiving and you'll find that your interview is not based on one thing that went wrong in the whole interview process. So my advice would be to try and forget about the little things that you did wrong because usually interviewers probably didn't even notice or if they did it was probably a lot smaller than what you thought it was and so I try after every interview to think about all the things that went right for you in the interview and the things that you really contributed as well and the last thing I will say about interviews is it can seem all-consuming and it can be all you think about you'll wake up in your sleep refreshing you cast to see if you've got an offer Try to take a deep breath and as hard as it is, I would also recommend try and forget about it and have a bit of you time, treat yourself and just kind of clear your mind and forget about it. So that kind of concludes my experience of midwifery interviews. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe to the Gut Medics channel for more videos. And yeah, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.